Hey, Tom here. Welcome to my channel, Tom Loves DIY. Uh, before I get into the video, I'm using a new microphone that I picked up because one of my viewers, uh, Michigan Prospector, pointed out that some of the audio was, well, as he put it, terrible. And this new microphone system is wireless to my Sony camera. I think it works a lot better. I'll be using it going forward. Today's uh, another little hack. I'm hacking my drill today. I have this old Craftsman drill. This thing actually is, uh, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 years old. Uh, uses NICAD batteries. That should give you a clue. I keep it around because one, it's pretty powerful. And also it has two bubble levels built into the drill. One here on top and one here on the end. The, I don't know what it's called, but this one keeps this level and this one keeps it vertical so I don't have that on the new drill yet as I have a bubble level that came from one of these uh, there's three on it normally one of them died so I'll just uh, and I haven't used it in probably 15 years so scavenge this out of there and then online I picked up one of these that I can put on the end. So this is going to go right here on my rigid battery powered drill. Really like it by the way. And this one will go here and I'll put them on with a little bit of epoxy. I've mixed up some epoxy, some uh, of my JB Weld, I mentioned. I'm gonna set this here on a block of wood because I want this to be as flat as possible. And I'm going to set this on here to see how it looks. That's pretty good, actually, all things considered. Now I'm going to just put a little bit of epoxy on that spot. It's not going to take much. Probably got a lot more than I need. I've cleaned this off as well as the drill. See, let's see if I can get that one quick motion. There we go. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I'm going to let that dry. It is five minute epoxy. Five minutes to do its partial setup. It'll take it a couple of hours to be completely done. And when that's done, I'll come back and put this piece on. So the epoxy is set up and to check it, to make sure I've got it correct, I have one of these pretty cool electronic levels that tilts. It also has a magnet on one side, so I can set it here and it'll tell me whether or not this metal rod, which I've put inside the, the drill, is actually straight. Now right now it's registering uh, 0.9 low out here. So I tilt it up slowly. Now I'm at about zero and I see that my bubble is in perfect alignment. Maybe I got lucky. <laughs> But this is set up, it's on there, and now I know that if I'm drilling horizontally, I can just look at this and keep my drill bit perfectly level. Next is to put this round one on the bottom. And to do that, I'll probably use a square to line this up. I may also use this electronic level. Um, pretty straightforward. I'll uh, show you that when I'm ready to go. I've got the epoxy mixed up very little necessary and I just thought I would check with this so I've set the drill on uh, a block of wood with a shim in there to get it close it's 0.1 um, on the uh, level and checking this uh, that is spot on I am happy with that uh, it has crosshair so I'm just cuz gonna Put those lined up and I will now apply a small amount of epoxy 
onto my drill. And some people might object to this, and you know, it's kind of a kludge, not something you want to do to your power tools, but like I've said about a number of things, it's mine. I can pretty much do what I want. So let's get that lined up as perfectly as I can. And because this is fairly flat, I'm hoping it won't uh, slide around. I think that's as good as I can get it. I'm going to let that set up. Again, it's a five minute epoxy, but it's going to take a couple of hours to uh, be where I want it to be. I'll come back and try it out. So I drilled that quarter inch hole, put in a dowel, and I'm going to check it with my square. That's not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. Not in this direction. Well, maybe a quarter of a degree off, or maybe the dowels bend a little bit, but that looks pretty good to me. I'm satisfied with that. I think that the little hack has been a success.